Welcome back to my channel guys. In today's video I am going to be Marie Kondoing my underwear drawer. This is probably the messiest if not the only messy part of my bedroom and it is long overdue. The top drawer houses my socks as well as what I would consider to be the more comfortable underwear. So they're cotton, they're breathable, they're things I would wear to work, to the gym, or to bed at night. And as you can see, they are also a complete disaster. The second drawer houses my bras as well as any underwear that I would consider to be more fancy. So things that match some of my bras or things I would wear if I have an occasion or I'm going out, spending an evening with my partner, or any time I just want to feel a little bit more feminine and sexy. And of course this drawer is a disaster as well. I always seem to have really cute shoe boxes kicking around and I never know what to do with them. So these are going to come in really handy to create compartments in my dresser drawers. The first thing I did was find a nice clean clear surface to work on so I could actually go through everything and decide what I wanted to keep and if there was anything that I could get rid of. So any underwear that was really tattered or had stains, any socks with holes or that didn't have a matching sock. And I also got rid of things that didn't have any business being in the underwear drawer to begin with. The second thing I did was go through and unravel my socks because Marie Kondo promotes folding your socks on top of each other rather than scrunching them into a tight little ball. This is going to take some getting used to for me. During this process, I realized I had way too many of those little hidden socks that you can wear in ballerina flats because to be honest, for the amount of time that I actually wear those little socks, I don't need six or seven pairs. So I was able to do a little bit of decluttering through this process as well. Next, I folded my socks and the compression socks that I wear to work were pretty easy to fold because they're long and my white ankle socks were actually pretty easy as well. I did find the little nude colored hidden socks to be a little bit more difficult to fold in a Marie Kondo fashion so I kind of just did my own thing and layered them on top of each other and then folded them in half once. And I'm giving myself a break because it is my first time Marie Kondoing my socks. <laughs> Next, I chose a box and I organized the socks in a vertical, standing up fashion the way Marie Kondo suggests. Can I see myself storing my socks like this forever? I don't know, but they sure look pretty that way. Next, I folded the underwear, and the way Marie Kondo suggests is to lie them flat, fold the crotch of the underwear up, and then fold the underwear in at the sides, so you can later fold it in three so it can stand up in a vertical fashion when you're done, if that makes any sense. I may have completely just butchered the underwear folding rules, but I think you get the idea. Folding the thong underwear was a little bit more tricky, but the same rules basically applied. So fold the crotch up, fold the sides in, and then fold it into three or four so that you could stand it up later. Next, I filed them into the shoe box. I found the end result of this far more satisfying than the sock business. Underwear complete. 
Up next, bras. If you guys haven't done this before, I found the bra folding to be much easier and much more fun than the socks and the underwear. And I actually have stored my bras pretty similarly to this in the past without having the clasps done up. I just kind of had them lying in my drawer open. And Marie Kondo suggests doing up the back first, so I thought, what the heck, let's revamp it and give it a try. After that I just had to sort through all of the other odds and ends that were in the drawers and if you guys haven't used these little nipple daisies they are amazing for outfits that you can't wear a bra with. I highly recommend them. After that I also folded all of my fancier underwear and I won't make you watch the whole thing because I basically just followed the exact same principles that I used for the other underwear. And this is the finished product. It was really tedious and I don't know if I would continue to fold my underwear like this all the time, although I am really happy with the result and I think it looks really nice. And I think right now I'd feel really bad just randomly shoving underwear into my drawer. I think Marie Kondo was onto something when she said that we should treat our undergarments nicely because after all they are the closest thing to our body every day. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you and if you did give it a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss any future content and I will see you guys all in my next video.